my Cindy Oda here with my Artsy Endeavors. How are you doing? Okay, welcome to part, um, part, part, what number am I? <laughs> part three, I believe, of our creative well-being bag. And I'm going to do a project and I'm going to show you how to take this little frying pan, this feather, um, this little art palette, you guys see that? Let me bring you in. Hold on. Okay. This little art palette right here. It's a charm. Um, this charm that says relax. I'm not sure if I'm going to use this one or not or another one. I think I'm going to use a different one. Let's use, um, let's do this one. This one says follow your heart. There's a little charm. And these two little pieces of metal um, that I'm going to poke holes into. And this frame that's got some paper, it's a hard, like a cardstock paper on both sides. I'm going to show you how to take this, couple beads, some wire. This is just a really thin wire. I have no idea what the gauge is, but I can tell you it's really bendable. Okay, so I'm going to use some wire. And what you're going to make is this. Let me bring it back out so you can see the whole thing. And this, it's not going to be as big as this. This is my prototype. This is the very first one I did. Um, it's not going to be as long as this. It's going to be a lot shorter. But this is going to be your worry doll to put into your well-being bag. Uh, let me show you another one here that I've made. Here's another one. This one is a little bit longer. And the reason I use that bendable wire is because we can just put it up and put it in the bag and it's not gonna take up a lot of room, okay? Um, this guy doesn't have his face done yet. We're gonna do more work on all of the faces, but here's another one, all right? So I'm gonna show you how to do this. A um, Couple things you're gonna need. You're gonna need a pair of wire cutters. I've got a pair of needle no nose pliers here. And I have a punch. This is a metal punch. Uh, it's called Euro Punch, and it's around 1.80 millimeter. Um, and some beads. I've got some beads right here. And what I'm going to do is I am going to fast forward through this process. Um, it's going to be relatively simple on how to put it together. And it's going to be a lot of fun. Oh, there's one more thing you're going to need, and that is this hole punch. This is the... 1 16th hole punch. It's real tiny. As you can see, it's really, really tiny hole. So the first thing I'm going to do um, with my body is I'm just going to figure out where am I going to put my arms and where am I going to put my legs. So I think up here is going to be an arm. Poke a hole there. I'm going to poke a hole over here for another arm. And then I'm going to poke two holes on the bottom for the legs. So I'm going to do one right there and one right there. Oof. Come on. All right. So I've got four holes poked in there. I've got two up here for the arms and I have two down here for the legs. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to get started. I'm going to cut off a little piece of this wire. I'm going to do some beading and then I'll start putting this together and we will chat. Um, once I get this put together, I have to put it under glue, which is this one here is under glue right now. Once that dries after I put it under glue, then I'll come back and we're going to start decorating um, the faces. We're going to do a little bit more decorating on the bodies and, you know, just finalize these up. So I hope you guys enjoy and I'll be back in a bit.
right, so here she is so far. We've got our body, we've got our arms with our little paint palette, and just this says relax, and this says follow your heart, I believe. So that's how I put the arms and the legs together, and like I said, I used that wire specifically because I know it will bend, um, and we can put this in our, in our um, bags. So now, um, what I do, have been doing is I take this... Um, feather it had a round loop on the top which I cut it off and you know those things you never know where they're going to end up so there's ends of these all over the place in here but I'm going to take this and I'm going to glue this onto here and then I'm going to take her frying pan which eventually is going to hold her head okay and this is just a little head I molded out of that air clay that you get in Michaels so eventually her head or face is going to go in there but for now, I am just going to go ahead and glue her and glue the um, feather and I'm going to put them under a clamp and let them dry and then I'll come back and we'll finish up these little gals and guy. We'll chat soon. Alright, so these are pretty well dried up. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to start doing some of the decorating on here. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is actually on the bottom, the body, I have these um, this bling. So she's going to get not one, but two pink hearts. So we're going to put those on. Oops. Maybe. So here's one pink heart. And sorry about my phone. It's doing its thing. And here's another pink heart. All right. So that's the first thing I did. Um, next thing I'm going to do is I got out my Poscas. Um, this one is, I think it's orange. I don't know if you can read that. I think it's orange. And the hot pink one, I just put a little bit on my mat here. And then I was just working with a brush and just brushing this face. Like I said, this is a face that um, I made with that air dry clay that you can get in any Michaels and a couple molds. So I'm going to take this face and we are going to glue it into her frying pan head. <laughs> All right. Now, um, I was going to put these on like around the backs, but they're not going to work. So we're not going to do that. Instead, um, years ago I used to make dolls and I have a lot of doll hair. Let me shut that off. Hold on. All right. And I have a lot of doll hair, so I said, hmm, let's get that doll hair back out and use it. So there's w there's a lot of different kinds of doll hair that you can get. You can get just long curls, you can get just strings, or you can get these type of curls. Um, I used this a lot when I was making the little wooden dolls that sit on a shelf. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my ta Aileen's Tacky, and I'm just going to go around the top of the frying pan. Now... Don't go out and try to buy everything that you see me making these with. Get into your metal, get into your junk pile, um, and just start looking and see what you actually have. And I guarantee you, you're going to find something that you can use as a body, uh, something you can use, you know, as the head. I mean, you could even use those little glass um, marbles, flat-backed marbles that you get at the dollar store. They would work. Um, you can use any of that kind of stuff. So I'm just going to, this isn't quite dry all the way yet, so her frying pan is moving. So i got to put her back under this, the scruncher here. But I wanted to show you guys how quick and simple and easy it is to make a little worry doll. And it's funny. <laughs> I'm saying simple, quick, and easy now, but let me tell you, the prototype, there was a lot of bling, 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 bling and going on. <laughs> so... But here she is. Um, I'm not sure what else I'm going to do with them at this time. Uh, this one I have to still do the hair. I have a couple of them I have to do the hair on. Here's two more. Um, these guys each actually got a flower. I should give her a flower, right? Yeah, where's the flowers? Um, let me see if I have a pink flower. This is a jar of flowers. Um, some of these I got from my dear friend Gina. Some of these I've had for a long time. Some of them I picked up um, 
uh, about a year ago at a we stopped on the way home from one of our trips at a flea market and this lady had bought out an entire oh, there's a, see I have these but these are too big she um, bought out an entire like a like a prima flower type store only it was these this kind of flowers and so she had tons and tons of them so I went through and picked out a bunch of them I'm trying to find a small one You guys hear the, the chair in the background? That's Lynn. She's hanging out with me. Say hi, Lynn. Hi. All right. So let's put this. I'm going to give her a little white one. And, of course, I'm almost at the bottom of this glue. You know how you try to get every little bit out? We actually found today, um, Lynn and I, we went and met our husbands for lunch. And we stopped over at the Dollar Tree, and they actually had Aileen's uh, tacky glue there. Um, a nice size container of it for a three buck. Ounces. Three ounces for a buck. It was awesome. So, all right. So she's going to have a little flower right there in her hair. I've just got to let the um, Aileen's set up. So there they are. If I add some more to them, I will come back on and let you know. But as of right now, I think these guys are set. But uh, let me finish up. i got to put hair on these guys and give them each a flower. And then they should be all done. So I'll be right back. Alright guys, here they are. Aren't these awesome? They are my little worry dolls. And they are going to go um, with our project that we're working on for you. And we're going to share the whole thing at the end of this. So I hope you guys have enjoyed part three. Um, go ahead and make yourself a little worry doll. Uh, like I said, use what's in your stash. Do not. I did not purchase anything for these. Um, this is all stuff that was in my stash. A lot of my metals, the charms, that kind of thing. Um, they're all just hanging out here. So definitely check out what's in your stash. Make yourself a little worry doll. And I hope you look forward to the next part in this project. We'll talk to you soon. As always, take care. Have fun. That's what life's all about. Comment, share, subscribe, um, hit the like button if you would like, and definitely share this video with your friends. All right, we'll talk to you soon. Have a great day. Bye.